so this is the command line tool that we have on windows so let's say i go on to execute some uh, git commands let's say git just git it says it's not recognized then node we have many issues the ui looks really odd the 90s ui and we are using very much uh, good modern browsers wherein we have uh, a lot of themes but theming this is really a problem even if we go for properties what we can do is just is the colors we can just increase the font but other things are still an issue here so as an alternate to this there's another great tool called as cmdr which uh, we are going to see in this video let's have a look so this is uh, commander and it is a portable uh, console emulator for windows and if you see the features we can execute our git commands then it's very portable and it has a nice looking monokai theme uh, back in the days we had this uh, you know we still have the sublime text editor which had the similar theme so it's a good alternative for our default uh, command line editor so let's download this I'm going to save it on the desktop so the download is complete these are some of the shortcuts for command line like control t for a new tab pretty much self-explanatory control w to close the tab and uh, yeah so the link is in the github so let me go ahead and expand this we'll have to extract it here and in whichever folder i keep this commander so that is where it is going to be run from so it is like a portable utility that we can use and i have been using this in the past and it's a great tool there you go let's run the application yes and we have the commander loaded okay running git for windows so what the package which we downloaded has got both the commander as well as git and it is downloading some files maybe some configuration files which it needs okay there you go that was the command which i made if i hit git i get all the git commands git bash there you go git hyphen hyphen help yes i'm able to run all the git command as well as windows command so clear is the command which we use in uh, linux and mac and here cls is the command so it's a good tool that we'll be using so if you just copy this folder and keep it where uh, you know uh, other users uh, won't have the access so let me go ahead and paste it in uh, documents yes and yeah And if I run it from there, that would also be enough. So that's it for this video. Uh, we will be using Commander for our uh, Git configurations and installing uh, various dependencies as well as uh, executing uh, some programs. Uh, do give it a try and tell me in comments what do you feel about this.